There are two oxygen sensors on the GTI Mark IV. One pre-catalytic converter, yellow arrow, and one post-catalytic converter, red arrow. The housing that protects the electrical connections is located just under the car below the right side seat, green arrow. Begin by removing the two 10 mm plastic nuts that hold the housing in place as indicated by the red arrows. Pull the housing down and turn it over. Inside are the two connections for the pre green arrow and post red arrow catalytic O2 sensors. The connections are different sizes and types and can only sit in the housing one way. Unclip the two different connections for the pre green arrow and post red arrow O2 sensors. Follow the wires back to the sensors, unclipping them from the harness clips as you go. Red arrows. There is a small piece of heat shield material, red arrow, on the wires towards the front of the cat. Unclip this and set it aside. On some systems, it's a lot easier to remove the sensors with a special 22mm crossfoot O2 sensor removal tool, red arrow. The forward sensor is easy to remove with a regular 22mm wrench, red arrow, but if you're going to be changing out sensors, it's a good idea to invest in the crawfoot tool. This photo illustrates the old O2 sensor. It is almost impossible to tell if the sensor is functioning correctly by looking at it. When installing your new sensor, apply a little high temperature anti-seize to the threads, yellow arrow, taking extreme care not to get any anti-seize on the end of the sensor. Check your new sensor first. Lots of new ones come with the anti-seize installed already. Installation is the reverse of removal. Use care when screwing in the new sensor that you do not cross thread it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.